Hello dear friends, I would like to bring some depth today into your game. So for that we will use the parallax effect, which is this picture. You see the background is almost still when you go with a car or in this case with your game camera. The midground, which would be in our case the mountains, would move but slower than the foreground, which is our platforms. And how to do that, I will show you now. Okay, so let's start with the background. This is the most easy one to do because the background should be static. It should be something like it's not moving. It's so far behind that it's not moving. If you are taking, let's say, uh, mountains or something like that, that would be something like middle ground. But background should be something that is static. So let's do that. If you have done my tutorial, you know that the Sunnyland is a free asset which you can download. If you don't know that, then please look at my tutorials. I need some likes and subscriber. And after humiliating myself, let's go here to the background. And here you have the pixel art. You see we have 100 we should make 16 because if you just take 100 then it would be just too small as for the background so we should make sure that this is 16 all the other assets that we have imported have always been defined as 16 pixels per unit and we apply that so we can now take that one and move it in here very well. Now we should add a component here which is called level background. And have you seen that? He just moved it because now that we have the level background, which is a Corgi engine script, um, you can tell him he should follow the camera. The only thing that I don't like in here is you see that this picture is actually too small for this one. So there are different ways to solve that. One of them would be go to the regular camera and try to find out um, to tweak a little bit these pixels per unit and stuff like that. Because I'm lazy today I will just change the pixels per unit to 12, which should make it a little bit bigger and I don't think that the people will notice. Okay, very well. Now that should be the background and there is, at the moment it's working very well, but to make sure that it's really working you should look that your layer in here should be background and that under the sprite renderer your sorting layer should also be background because in case we would be 3D and the um, background will would be something like that and you don't have that as background then you see he overrides whatever lies behind so therefore just put both on background and still put it on the set axis to zero it's just better okay let's test that you have seen it's static it looks very well okay so the second part which is the parallax effect so something like the middle it's not static it's moving but not as fast as your player or the foreground like the platforms 
uh, this is slightly complicated because um, we need to paint it we need to paint the level so let's do that we are still in our sunny land and environments and we have here the middle now let's go to the inspector and make sure that you have that on 16 again and um, apply that so there are two ways to deal with it you could move this middle and middle and middle and bound them together and make sure that there is no space in between but in this case I would like to edit as a tile palette and you will learn something because um, this middle one you see that's 176 times 368 pixels so we can divide that with 16 so we do instead of a single we do a multiple and we apply that and have you seen here how it looks now so we go here to the sprite editor and we slice it grid by cell size because we know that we can do that with 16 pixel we slice that and apply that so if we can open now this middle one you see that it has now a lot of small grids which means I can take now this middle one and move it here and we have already made in the tutorial the tile maps Sunnyland and he will import it Okay, so now it's finally done. Now what we need to do is to create a new grid layer. We have at the moment the platforms and the one-way platforms. So these are the one-way platforms and these are the normal platforms. Now we create a new grid layer or tile map. Uh, which should be rectangular and we call that middle ground so now we go to our tile palette make sure that you are here on middle ground and copy that and go to your level bounds and just click 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 okay now we have our middle ground what you have seen we have drawn over this happens again because we need to make sure that we are here on background and the sorting layer should also be background but there is one thing if the background and the middle ground are both on background you should make sure that this one has the order in layer 1 so that the background is 0 and the middle ground is on top there is another thing which you can do and this is not taking the sorting layer background you can go here to background and see what the order is you see that there is the background default between player platforms and so on so if you have set all of these platforms in the sorting layer platforms then you can use let's say between which would make sense I have not done that that's the reason why I will have my order layer here on one okay but 
now comes the magic we go and use the add component and we have this parallax element so now this layer will use the parallax effect and we will do something like 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and take that move in opposite direction out. If we save that and play it, then he should move slightly better. Let's check that. when I was playing it uh, on full screen, well, full screen, you can say here maximize on play and then you see it bigger when you play it, is, uh, you will see that in a minute, when you start playing, then you see some little gaps. I'm not sure if you can see that, if the resolution is good enough to see that you have here some gaps. If I scaled it, you should definitely see it. So, uh, now, now that's something we need to fix and there are two things we can do. The first one is quite a no-brainer. You need to go to project settings, which is also here under edit and project settings in case of, and go to quality, make it bigger, and here you have anti-aliasing. So anti-aliasing is definitely something you do not need with pixel art. So we disable it and save that. If you play now, it should be a little bit better. So it's definitely better, but I don't know if you see some flickering because the problem is when I'm um, uh, when I'm recording, it has a different hertz than my game itself, so that's why it's never very smooth. But I saw some flickering. If you have that too, then there is a second one besides of this one. Um, you need to create a 2D object which is the sprite atlas and call it sprite atlas in this case now if we go here to the inspector then make sure that you can take the middle and the tile set and uh, sorry uh, that you drag and drop those in here so we have now back we have now middle and the tile set sliced. And if you have used any other pixel art, just do that uh, too. Then again, point and none, no compression. Uh, sadly, if you look in here, you see that the packaging is disabled. You should go to edit, project settings and editor and change that which is project settings, editor, sprite packer. Now, at the moment, I will do the always enabled and I save that. When I go here back to my Atlas in the inspector, I have now a button which is called pack preview. So I click that and let's play it. And there is no flickering and no gap whatsoever. Yes, that's a small bonus from my side. Bye.